Hello guys, Buddha Jake here. Today I have something to talk to you about, and that is mouth guards. For 10 years, uh, while I've been training Jiu Jitsu, I never wore a mouth guard. I wore them in other martial arts before, and I never liked the way it felt. I felt that it would restricted my breathing, and uh, it was uncomfortable, so I always thought I would just take my chances. <clears throat> other guys, uh, even a white belt, would wear a mouth guard every time, uh, but that just wasn't for me. But something happened a while back that uh, made me rethink that strategy. I was working takedowns and um, I took a knee to the head as I was going for a takedown. And um, what happened was I got a lot of swelling and it even went down to my jaw where I couldn't even open my mouth more than a couple inches. And it took about three weeks to get over that. So that made me realize that you know I should probably be wearing a mouth guard. And wearing a mouth guard protects against two things. Uh, one, it keeps your teeth safe, so um, you know, that's less likely to get chipped or broken. Of course, there's no guarantee. If you get super hard, hit super hard, it's, it's not a magical protection, of course. Uh, but the other thing is a mouth guard protects you against concussions. Um, the way I understand it is by having something in your mouth, it creates a little gap here where your jaw connects to your skull, and that minimizes chances of concussions. So I thought, you know what, I've been pretty fortunate over the past 10 years, now I'm going to start wearing one. So the first thing I did was um, I used a boil and a bite. Uh, there's two ways to get mouth guards. One is a boil and bite mouth guard, <clears throat> and the other is a custom mouth guard. And a uh, boil and bite is just like it sounds. It's a piece of plastic, you boil it, you put it in your mouth, and you bite it, and it's supposed to form to the shape of your jaw. And uh, it never felt comfortable at all. Uh, you can see it here. Um, there's hardly any indentations for my teeth there. Um, even though I followed all the instructions, um, it's just really uncomfortable. <clears throat> and so the next thing I did was, since I, since I didn't like that, I figured I'd try a custom mouth guard. And uh, the company that I dealt with uh, was not happy with it all. Um, I'm not into bashing companies publicly, but I don't want you guys to get screwed over by, by them, so I'm going to tell you. It was a company called Fight Dentist, and uh, the communication was just terrible. Um, the product didn't even work. Um, I'm not going to go into too much detail about why, but it was just um, it was an inferior product, and it did not work at all. So that was a $200 kit. I threw that right in the trash, and then I went on social media and asked, you know, who should I deal with? And I got a flood of responses from different uh, different dentists out there. Of course, lot, lots of people make custom mouth guards. But I decided to go with the mouthpiece guy. Uh, he's done mouth guards for Marcelo Garcia and uh, Anderson Silva and a bunch of other guys. So I figured he must know what he's doing. And uh, this time, I decided to go down and do it in person. You can also do it by, the, by mail. <clears throat> so wherever you are in the world, you can mail him. He'll mail you the putty that you use to, to make the impression, and then you send it back, and he sends it back to you with your mouthpiece. But, you know, after messing up one of those, <clears throat> I decided, you know what, I'm just going to go down there and have him make the impression. And I did. And it was a really interesting process. I learned a lot about mouth guards. But I want to show you what, what I got. The first thing that, that he does is he makes a mold of, of your teeth. So here's a mold of my teeth. And... Um, you know, I guarantee this doesn't look like your mouth. Every every mouth is totally unique. You know, when when a body is burnt to a crisp, dental records are what they use to identify them. So that shows you how important uh, a perfect fitting mouth guard is. And uh, <clears throat> and and I sure realized that. So after you get this mold, um, he he gives this to you. You can keep this and. Um, that way, if your mouth guard ever breaks or you need another one for whatever reason, you can use it. You can use this, so you don't need to get fitted again. So I got um, after that. Um, it took a couple weeks. No, just a few days actually, maybe one week for him to create the mold, the actual mouthpiece. And um, another interesting thing is that there are different thickness thicknesses of mouth guards. Um, if you are going to be getting hit in the face a lot then you want something thicker than if you're just doing jiu-jitsu. So uh, Jeff, the guy, mouthpiece guy, he asked me, you know, what do you do? Do you get do you get punched in the face? And I said, well, sometimes I, I train with gloves, not too much. 
And he said, okay, well, if it's only once in a while, then I'm going to give you the thinner one. It's going to be much more comfortable, easier to breathe. So that's what I got. I got a thinner one. And uh, I'm going to show it to you here. I don't know if you can see that very well, but um, perfect indentations of my teeth there on the top and on the bottom. <clears throat> and also you can do um, graphics. So I sent him the Budo logo, and he plastered that all over it. So I thought it came out looking really nice. Of course, there's a lot of different things you can do for artwork. I've seen people put uh, logos, pictures, um, snake skin, whatever you want. So it's kind of cool if you want to uh, customize it. So uh, I've been using this for about three weeks now, and I was concerned that it wouldn't feel good. And, uh, and don't get me wrong, nothing feels better than not wearing a mouthpiece at all. But uh, of course, that's not safe. Um, but you know, this is the this is the next best thing to not wearing anything at all. It's uh, it, it really was not a hindrance to me. Uh, I could breathe just fine. And one interesting thing that not a lot of people know about, I don't think, is that on the bottom, you also you, he heated this up, and I bit down on it, so my bottom teeth uh, formed an uh, impression inside here too. So some guys only do the uh, the top teeth. But doing the bottom teeth as well makes it a really nice fit. So when I put it in, the bottom teeth just lock right in, and it feels great. You can still talk and uh, and breathe just fine. Um, cost: a boil and bite mouth guard costs anywhere from five to twenty dollars. A custom mouth guard costs somewhere around two hundred dollars, maybe a little more, a little bit less, depending on artwork. So there's a significant cost difference, but really I see no comparison. Um, and I'm not saying this this way, you're one way or another. Uh, you know, we sell boil and bite mouth guards. We don't sell custom mouth guards on BuddhaVideos.com. But um, just I can tell you, as a, as a practitioner, I would never train with uh, a boil and bite ever again. Of course, if you know, if if money's an issue, then uh, sure, it's better to use a boil and bite than nothing. Or if you're a kid and your your teeth are you know, you're still growing, then you might want to just um, might not want to put that put out the money for a, a custom mouth guard. But if you could afford it. Um, then it's a it's a great um, it's a great thing you know there's not a lot of things we need for, for to do jujitsu we need a gi um, but I also think we need uh, a mouth guard so very happy with this um, there's a lot of different dentists that do this kind of work if you want to use the guy that I went through his website is mouthpieceguy.com and I'll put that in the notes below um, if you are local he's in Covina which is in, is, is in uh, LA County. Uh, you can drive there and have him do it, and I was really impressed with his facility and how, how everything that he did there. But if you're far away, anywhere else in the world, you can always mail it to him or any, you know, any other dentist that you can find online. But I would really encourage you to find a dentist that knows about jiu-jitsu and MMA. Because I think if I would have just gone to a regular dentist, he would have probably given me a thicker mouth guard, uh, because, thinking that all jiu-jitsu guys are MMA guys, right? And, um, and that would be less comfortable and maybe a little bit overkill. So uh, if you can get somebody that really knows what they're doing and knows, uh, knows the art, then I think you'll be in, in better hands. <clears throat> One more thing I want to tell you before I go, and that is cleaning a mouth guard. I've heard a lot of different uh, ideas on how to clean them. And again, this is something that I learned from uh, Jeff, the mouthpiece guy. He said, uh, you don't want to use anything abrasive. So that means not using a toothbrush on it because that will... Uh, wear down the uh, you know the the impression the in, in, indentations that you have for your teeth here, and also um, don't use heat. So if you don't rinse it off in hot water, uh, these are made with heat, so you don't want to use uh, heat on it. So um, the best way he said is just to use just some cold water after training, immediately after training. And I was doubtful. I thought that it, you know might hold an odor or something, but it really doesn't. As long as you do it right after training, rinse it off with cold water, let it dry, then put it back in the case. Um, it's been great. So I've been impressed how easy it is to clean. But you need to do it after every class. Uh, if the if if you do feel like you need to clean it even further, uh, he said you can use the um, denture little tablets that you put in the water to, that people use to clean dentures. Uh, but I haven't felt a need for that yet. Other care options, um, don't keep it in a hot car. Um, in Southern California, I don't think it's an issue, but maybe someplace like Palm Springs or you know the desert where it gets super hot, um, you could lose the shape of it. So that's about it. Um, if you have any questions about mouth guards, just leave them in the comments below. Um, I was really happy to, uh, to come across uh, the mouthpiece guy, and I appreciate his help. 
And if you have any other, like I said, any other questions, let me know and I'll try to address them. Thanks guys for tuning in and thanks for subscribing.